Hi, this is Elena Irene Gallison from the Cinema of Imperia and founder of Imperia. And as you know, I've been uh, coming out recently with my new solo artist album, Amy Lamoon Sky Chapter 2. Um, I hope you have liked the uh, album so far and um, the songs and uh, that it gave that I touch your hearts and for me music is about that to touch somebody's hearts with your artistic um, uh, creations within music and singing. Um, so I also asked you to have, if you had some questions you wanted me to answer in this interview, so I will add the answers for that. And I will give uh, a short uh, explanation of the uh, background of each and every song of the album. Okay, uh, so let's start. So I like to be personally and pure, and, and that is raw, just how it is. Um, so basically, uh, I will now answer their questions. Uh, Chris Kunif, my friend, uh, emotionally, what was the most difficult song for you to write, My Angel of Woman's Diary, Chapter 2? Uh, the answer to that is um, actually uh, many of the songs were difficult because it's really hard periods in my uh, life and what happened to me in the latest uh, uh, six years, actually, since 2014. Um, which, of course, when you sing about it, make lyrics and uh, all these things, and you are in the process, you get reminded of what you were uh, exposed to. So I have to say um, the song Angel Maria, uh, the song Imprisoned, and uh, Happy Birthday, uh, yeah, there is more, but at least this is some to mention Angel Maria's poem, for example. There's several tears uh, fallen in the process. Um, yeah, for the rest, um, this is, uh, yeah, what I can tell a little bit about in prison is that uh, I was politically imprisoned in Norway because of what my daughter is exposed to, which we all of you know by now. Uh, child prostitution and abuse uh, within uh, so-called uh, child welfare <laughs> um, in, in our like, commune. So, uh, but the thing is, uh, they put me in different prisons around Norway, they abused me, they tortured me, they hungered me, they uh, sexually assaulted me, they did all kinds of things to me that uh, no human being should experience. And it, uh, they also closed me up in an official hospital, um, just to basically take away my phones and, and try to threaten me to, sh to not talk about what they did to Angel and uh, to not have cases to get her back home. And of course, nothing of what they did uh, uh, stopped me from that. I'm her mother and uh, she belongs to me. And uh, no mother or father could let that kind of things go on uh, to the child, and of course. Yeah, includes me, but it's been uh, a hell for six years by now. Um, yeah, what can I say? I also was abused by a Kosovo Albanian uh, in, in Christian Southern Hospital, and uh, yeah, it's the last thing you expect to happen when you are in a hospital, right? But uh, he was an employer there, and uh, it was enough that I mentioned her name. Then they closed me up uh, in my room, and they uh, were abusive to me, they drugged me, severely drugged me, and I felt like a zombie. Um, I even lost my creativity part for a long uh, period because of the drugs they forcefully gave me there by injections. There are four people who forced really hard, hold me down, and they injected things in me. I have no clue uh, uh, what it is, but at least uh, it, it stopped my creativity. Uh, part and, and uh, made me like a zombie, I nearly couldn't speak. Um, so yeah, and uh, <clears throat> the song uh, Andy Maria uh, is a song I uh, was so frustrated and angry because of what they'd done and, and I uh, was in Holland for a period of time after they did a murder attempt 26 January 2019 in Norway and I managed to get to Holland to a friend of mine, John Posterhaus in Groningen, and um, he got me on the legs again, you know. 
but uh, he met uh, so he was worried when he saw the state I was in uh, after the murder attempt of them at that time, poisoning coffee. And uh, yeah, I was really um, so white in my skin, you know, and uh, the pupus was still big from the stuff they put in the coffee and everything. So um, it was it was also traumatic. Huh? And uh, yeah, he met me at the airport and uh, we took the train together to his place and uh, he got in with food and uh, it took uh, maybe four or five days and the color came back in my skin and uh, I managed to recall Ferris and Illusion and uh, all spoken words and uh, yeah, I, I will never forget what my friend John did, you know, uh, when everybody else let me down he was there for me, you know, or not really letting me down, people were scared. Like my family too, some of them been threatened by a mafia involved in this child prostitution trafficking case of my daughter and they simply don't dare and this is understandable. Um, I simply dare because I am not scared to sacrifice my life uh, for my daughter's well-being and uh, to get her back out of it and back uh, is for me totally worth it. Um, so there's actually nothing they can do that will scare me away from that. Uh, and I just hope that I will manage to stay alive for whatever they do. It's been poisoning in food, it's been poisoning in drinks, uh, severe abuse and stuff also here in Germany. So not even here, I'm, I'm, I'm safe. But uh, from here I still fight for my daughter's uh, right and my rights and uh, for her to get out of it and come back home. Uh, but anyway, in Holland, uh, with all the frustration and anger, I started to run. And I uh, run several times a day, no matter whether. If it was raining, I took a, a parapluie, you call it, uh, umbrella. And uh, I actually run several hours sometimes a day, and it ended up my feet got ruined from it. So the part I run and run and run. Uh, uh, which is in the lyrics there, is actually from that period in Holland where I run like hell, <laughs> just for to get out frustration and anger. Um, and uh, yeah, well, the good side of it got me in a very good shape, but uh, the bad side I had to uh, wear bandage and stuff on my feet because I basically have over the, the my, my feet. Yeah. Yeah. What is or what are the songs you, you love to sing? Um, I uh, um, uh, like to sing a lot of the songs, it's all kind of different spheres, uh, and I kind of like that. Uh, it makes it unboring, let's say, or uh, very artistic. And um, yeah, so I like to sing all of them. Uh, so, but live, I like very much to sing The Calling, uh, I like to sing uh, Misty by the Sire, I like to sing, uh, yeah, uh, Rape by the Devil actually. I, I, for live, I like to sing a lot of different songs of Imperial. And, uh, we are thinking of making something live for Angel of Women's Diary 2 with just piano and vocals, so that is in the works. Um, so I'm looking forward to that and uh, it's going to be great. Thank you. Then I have a question uh, from Manuel Hilbert. So, um, first, what are your three favorite bands? I have to say Black Sabbath. I like and uh, the old songs, uh, not so much the news, but uh, I really like the old stuff. Uh, I like, um, yeah, the Doors actually. Uh, like I'm, I'm still when I listen to music is uh, for me still going a bit back in the old days. Let's say, of, uh, yeah, like Doors and then Black Sabbath. Um, so, like favorite bands, I don't think I have any. I listen to all kind of music um, when I listen to music and uh, when I want to relax, I'm just listening to instrumental piano music. Uh, 
and that can play for three hours or something. Then uh, just to relax, basically. Uh, what is your best memory of playing with Imperia? I think the best memory is Heineken Music Hall. Uh, it was great in Greece. And it was great the last gigs in Holland and Belgium too. And it was super cool to meet you again, of course. <laughs> yeah, each and every gig is kind of a great memory. Uh, you meet cool people. Uh, every time is... Uh, I find it every time super cool and very memorable and uh, all these good memories. <sighs> Do you ever think you will record a live album? Uh, yeah, um, for Imperia I think for sure uh, when we will uh, start to play live again after the next album release, uh, I think for sure that we will raise that that will happen. Uh, for Angel of Woman's Diary Chapter 2, I think they will also uh, come, but again, that it will just be the emotional performance with just piano and vocals. And sometimes that is just enough, actually. <laughs> then it was a question from uh, Douglas Trajano. Um, which countries I would uh, like to visit and do concerts in? Um, actually, one of my passions is also to travel, so uh, I would like to do concerts all over the world. But I do like Spain very much, uh, and I heard it's cool to play in Brazil. But um, uh, and uh, I would like to come back to England because that was cool, and uh, maybe also USA. Um, so in other words, everywhere. <laughs> Uh, I have to stop there a little bit with, with uh, um, the, the requested uh, uh, questions uh, because it's going to take quite some time to explain each and every song uh, and even though I will try to make that shortly as well. So let's start that. Um, so, uh, never forget song never again. Um, this song is, is about all the hurt you you get when, when you, uh, you give yourself completely, you give your whole heart and, and maybe you uh, then in the end uh, get hurted or the partner is unfaithful to you or do something behind your back or something like this and uh, uh, it's it's uh, uh, yeah, and it got me to make the song never again, you know, never again give my soul, never again give my heart, and uh, never again fall in love, in love, because it hurts me. Uh, I guess we all have had this sort of pain, um, and uh, this is uh, yeah, and sometimes we even end to uh, stay quite some time alone because we don't dare to take the chance to have this hurt again. Um, no, it's a little bit about never again. <laughs> and next one, uh, Street Child. Actually, uh, Street Child uh, uh, was a song that I won a talent competition in Norway as a teenager. Uh, I was 12 or 13 or something, and I uh, was one of the first songs I made completely myself, like with verse, with friend bridges and. Uh, back then, mm, and uh, all these years later, uh, I got made a song out of it, and uh, that actually meant a lot to me because uh, that's how I met Trail of Tears. By the way, I, I uh, was singing on this talent competition, and I sang my own song, a Street Child, um, with uh, backing music, uh, and uh, yeah. And then Ronnie Torsen and uh, the band Trail of Tales was sitting in the audience and they came over to me and asked, hey, do you want to um, uh, join in our band as our singer? And yeah, that's how it started. And then I became the singer of, of, uh, of, of uh, Trail of Tales back then. But yeah, so uh, finally after all these years, since I was 12, 13 years old, Street Child came 
when I will release it and, and yeah, it was kind of cool for me, you know, it's many years in between. Uh, don't believe, shortly explain, uh, don't believe is, um, let's say you have a hard period in your life and you are really desperate and you even, you even pray to the higher powers. Mm -hmm. Uh, that something or somebody will help you and take you out of this terrible situation um, and nothing helps and uh, you don't get help yeah, and um, the situation doesn't change um, that is basically what it is I don't believe is um, uh, is when you kind of want to say when you pray for higher power or God or and, and, and uh, nothing positive happens and then you just stop to believe. Yeah, and then I made I don't believe. Um, shortly about that song. Um, imprisoned. I explained uh, in the beginning of the interview for one of your questions and by the way thank you very much for asking the questions and interest for the DVD and everything. I really appreciate it. And, um, actually, uh, yeah, again, in prison there was uh, a lot of terrible things I was exposed to as a political priest in prison in Norway because of my daughter's uh, terrible uh, life situation in case. And to kind of shut my mouth and to uh, shut my mouth and to, to uh, take away my freedom and try to scare me to, to fight to get her out of it and back and not to document what they do. Um, do you hear my cry? Um, you know, sometimes when I've been exposed to things by uh, mafia people uh, in the child prostitution and trafficking of my daughter, then uh, of course I uh, uh, also sometimes makes you cry, makes you scared, and makes you. But then I just move on, you know. And uh, yeah, in this way, I, I got to make it some "Do you hear my cry?" rather new, you know. Um, yeah. Uh, Exer is a Norwegian song, actually. I thought since I'm a Norwegian, I wanted a song with Norwegian lyrics there. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, I was not allowed to, and I'm still not allowed to give birthday presents to Anna Maria, so I um, thought I find a way to kind of let her see that it's not because I don't want to give her birthday present. It's because I'm not allowed and that I wanted to make a YouTube song that in, in the hope she would find it someday and see that I was thinking of her and that it was her birthday present from mommy to her. So that is happy birthday. Um, my desire, well I have a wild desire, I'm going to talk more about it because maybe that is like private, but I'm like a wild tiger. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I got that part of me out a little bit in my desire. <laughs> um, Rock in the Sea is um, a little bit... Uh, um, if you uh, have somebody in your life or... Uh, rock in the Sea, like... like um, that you have a person you, can, you know you can always count on, no matter hard uh, times or good times or no matter how hard things get. Um, that is one person that really are your rock and uh, yeah, uh, uh, that is a little bit the background of rock in the sea actually. Um, silence is uh, sometimes when you sit alone uh, and if you think about sad things or hard things in your life and it's just silence around, you know, it creates this, this special sphere. And um, I tried to create in the song this sphere, what that creates here, yeah, even it's, it's very small when it's raining and stuff. But, uh, at least I did my best to create that in, in the song Silence. Like when you are alone and you feel like really the silence is your only friend, you know? Um, yeah, that was a little bit of silence. Um, then you have the song Angel Maria, which I explained uh, uh, in the beginning uh, that I uh, managed after a murder attempt uh, in, in, in uh, 2009 uh, 
2019, 26th uh, January 2019 to get to Holland, get help from a friend John, and then after that move to Germany. And I'm still here. Um, and um, yeah, that I run so much because of frustration and I didn't get it. my feet got to hurt and pain, and I ended up with two wear band touches. But, um, but yeah, I got in a very good shape. <laughs> Um, song goodbye. Um, yeah, sometimes in a relationship you have a feeling now it's time to move on, and um, yeah, goodbye. I have to leave now. You know, uh, so it was from a relationship. I, I had a feeling I wanted to leave, and uh, so the song goodbye was kind of the letter or the song for to say my goodbye in that relationship. So that is how the song goodbye got born. And um, Angel Maria's poem is actually a video footage and Angel Maria playing piano and singing when she lived with me still in Fulham. And uh, I thought it was so sweet and cute and um, that she still looked so healthy and happy there with a life glow in her eyes still. That I, and plus that she wrote a poem, how happy she was in my care and how good she felt in her heart when she lived with me and uh, things like this and that I was her best friend so I thought I'd make a track to credit her uh, that is obvious she had got uh, uh, artistic qualities uh, um, or Egenskapen in Norwegian uh, for me both in singing, playing, piano, uh, performing and, and writing poems and lyrics and stuff uh, is, uh, I thought I'd bring this out you know Hoping she will be very proud uh, to see herself on, on uh, a starting career on, on YouTube. Uh, because that is for sure that when I finally get her out of this and uh, back home, she can then finally start to sing her lungs out to get all out frustration, out uh, all sadness, anger of what she has collected through all the six years while she has been exposed to what she has been exposed to. And um, yeah, again, I um, hope you will buy my album because because when you buy the album and uh, uh, I can continue making music for you and uh, yeah, chapter three is planned for next year somewhere already and uh, soon there will be released released uh, an alien chapter uh, and it's uh, album with cover songs. And uh, yeah, I will soon this DVD. And uh, yeah, whenever you buy my things, of course, it, that gives me the chance to release more for you. And uh, yeah, thank you for listening and seeing this interview. And uh, I see you live soon. And uh, thank you very much for support. And uh, free Angel Maria. Bye. Thank you.